Did you know Microsoft Word can compare changes in documents for you very quickly, very easily? Now, not just using the track changes method, which everybody is accustomed to, but there is a far easier way to do this. Let's say you have been working on a document and you send version 2 or version 1 to a colleague and they make some changes and they send you that document back, but they haven't used track changes. Sometimes it's hard to manually go through that document, but there is an easier way to do this in Microsoft Word. Before I continue, please like, subscribe and share. So I've got a document opened up here. This is RA Solutions version one. Now let's say um, I've received this from a colleague and I want to make some changes to this document so what I would do it was I would go away and make some changes let's put RA solutions in here these are the changes I've made and then what I'll do is I'll um, on this page I'll add RA solutions as well it's to say I've made some changes um, 111 and then up here down here actually I'll make some more changes to that document okay let's call this 222 so there's three notable changes within this document now and instead of change, um, saving it as version 1 I'm going to save it as version 2 so file save as and I'm going to save it as version 2 so I've got version 1 and I've also got the version 2 with the changes in click on save okay so there is a fantastic feature in Word called compare now if you haven't used track changes to send um, documents across or get those changes tracked you can use compare um, the document so at the top you've got the ribbon now in the ribbon go to the review tab here go to the right side um, on the right of in fact changes you will see an option called compare click on compare now choose the first option here compare so what you're doing is comparing two versions of a document um, especially useful if a document gets sent back and forth on a regular regular basis and you want to compare what changes have been made um, so here what I'm going to do is do a search for the original document which is going to be version 1 this one here click on open and this one is going to be the revised document so I'm going to click on open I'm going to make sure Word chooses version 2 so that was the version I added those three uh, instances of RA solutions okay so I'm going to click on OK it's going to open up a different view now of Word so in the top right hand corner is the it's opened up the original document which is the RA Solutions version 1 document here so you can see that there yeah bottom right hand corner is version 2 okay here um, we still don't know what changes have been made so what Word is doing is going to compare the original document with the revised document and the changes will be highlighted in this comparison document here. And on the left side, you see a pane opened up and you can see quite clearly Word has recognized the three changes I've made. So there was one thing here where I added RA Solutions 111, I added RA Solutions here and I added RA Solutions 222 there. So, and that would be highlighted in this comparison document here. So you can see if I scroll down, RA Solutions 111 has been added here into the revised document. So I know that. Further down, RA Solutions has been added here because that was the first entry I made. And if you keep going down, I might have missed it. I think I did miss it. Uh, click on here if you're not sure where it is. There you go, here. RA Solutions 222 was made there. So this is a really easy way to check for changes within a document, especially if a document has been sent back and forth by email. If you haven't used the track changes option, you can use a compare documents option to see what's been added, what's been deleted. I hope that video has helped you. Please like, subscribe and share.